Hi, in this video we're going to do a proof. To find a relation r on the set of integers by x is related to y if x plus 3y is even. And we're going to prove that r is an equivalence relation. So first let me just refresh your memory on some of the terminology that's used in this problem. So what does it mean for an integer to be even? We need that for our proof. So recall that x is even. This by definition means that x is a multiple of 2. So x is equal to, say, 2k for some integer k. Now we need to discuss what it means for r to be an equivalence relation. So r is an equivalence relation. So r is an equivalence relation means three things. It means one, R is reflexive, okay? So reflexive basically means um, that A is related to A for all A and Z, and that's going to be called reflexive. Two, uh, the next one is symmetry. It basically says if A is related to B, then B is related to A. And this has to hold for all A, B, and Z. This is called symmetry. Okay. And the third one is called transitivity. It says if A is related to B, and B is related to C, then these two conditions together imply that A is related to C. And this has to hold for all A, B, C, and Z. This one is called transitivity. So transitivity. Very nice. So once you have a relation that exhibits all three of these properties, we call it an equivalence relation. And they are extremely important in mathematics because whenever you have an equivalence relation on a set, you can break up the set into equivalence classes and you have like this beautiful uh, disjoint union of equivalence classes and you can use it in all areas of math that comes up in number theory, group theory, topology, etc. So it's one of those really core foundational things um, that shows up in all of math. Okay, let's do the proof. I could have just jumped into it, but I thought I would spend a little bit of time um, talking about what's going on just to give you some extra knowledge. So let's go ahead and prove uh, reflexivity first. So I'll just say reflexivity. So for, for reflexivity, we have to show that A is related to A for all A and Z. So here's our, here's our EQ relation right here. So this is what we're gonna be using, the whole proof, okay? So gotta make sure you can see it. So we have to show A is related to A. That basically means that A plus three A is even. So take any a in the set of integers. Then let's look at the quantity a plus 3a. Well, that's simply 4a, which is 2 times 2a, where 2a is an integer because it's the product of integers. So a plus 3a is a multiple of 2, right? That's our k in the definition. You see how it says x equals 2k? That's your k. So that basically means that a plus 3a is even. So a plus 3a is even. Hence, a is related to a. And it holds for all a, so it's reflexive and we're done with that part. Let's do symmetry. For symmetry, we assume that a is related to b and we have to show b is related to a. So suppose that A is related to B. So that means that A plus 3B is even. So that means that A plus 3B is a multiple of two. So it's equal to two times some integer, which I'll call K for some integer K. Very nice. So now we have to show that B is related to A. That would mean that b plus 3a is even. So the natural thing to do is look at b plus 3a. So then b plus 3a, 
Well, let's see if we can figure this out. If we solve this for a, so a is going to be 2k minus 3b, so it'll be plus 3. Solving for a, a is 2k minus 3b, so this is 2k minus 3b, right? Just subtract 3b from both sides. So this is b plus 6k minus 9b, which is negative 8b plus 6k, which is equal to, now you can pull out a 2 here. This will be negative 4b plus 3k. Yep, did that correctly, right? 2 times uh, negative 4 is negative 8b. Yep, yep, okay. Where negative 4b plus 3k is an integer because it's a product and sum of integers, so it's an integer. So this means that b plus 3a is even. Hence, b is related to a. So we started with the assumption that a was related to b, and we showed that b was related to a. So that shows that it's symmetric. And the last one is transitivity. So transitivity. And I'm going to go ahead and write the relation down again over here just because you can't see it anymore. It's up here, right? So, um, so I'm just going to write it somewhere convenient. Maybe I'll write it here so you see it. So x related to y, uh, if x plus 3y is even. That's our relation. That's the one we're using in this proof. So for transitivity, we assume that a is related to b and b is related to c. And then we have to show that a is related to c. So we say, suppose a is related to b and b is related to c. Then... That means that a plus 3b is even, and b plus 3c is even. So that means that a plus 3b is equal to 2k, and b plus 3c is equal to 2p for some integers k and p. So for some integers k and p. So now we need to somehow show that A is related to C, right? We need to show that. So we need to show that A plus 3C is even, okay? That's the goal, A plus 3C. So typically when you have something like this, you can add them and stuff usually happens, add or subtract. So let's just try it, see if we can figure it out. I have not done this yet. So then A plus 3B plus B plus 3C, okay? is going to be, um, what is that going to be? Well, it's going to be 2k plus 2p. It est, we can combine these, a plus 4b plus 3c is equal to 2k plus 2p. We're looking for a plus 3c, right? Because that's a related to c. So now maybe what we can do is we can subtract the 4b. So a plus 3c is equal to 2k plus 2p minus 4b, right? Subtract it over. Now you can pull out a 2k plus p minus 2b. Beautiful, right? 2k, 2p minus 4b, where k plus p minus 2b is an integer. So a plus 3c is even. So A is related to C. So we started with A related to B and B related to C, and we showed that A was related to C. That shows transitivity. So therefore, we've shown that it is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Therefore, it's an equivalence relation. So thus, R is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Hence, it is an equivalence relation on Z. And that completes the proof. So that's how you show a relation is an equivalence relation. Looks like we're almost at 10 minutes here. I <laughs> wrote really fast. It's a lot of writing. I mean, look at this. Just what, what a 
what a beast of a proof, right? So just a lot uh, of writing, not hard, but it does take um, some knowledge. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.